misled the American people over and over and over again. Today, our country has lost a true American original, my friend and mentor, Robert C. Byrd. Senator Byrd was a man of surpassing eloquence and nobility. There are white I've seen a lot of white in my time. I admired his tireless advocacy for his West Virginia constituents, his fierce defense of the Constitution and the traditions of the Senate, and his passion for a government that improves the lives of the people it serves. There are white I've seen a lot of white in my time. They mentioned that he once had a fleeting association with a Ku Klux Klan, and what does that mean? I'll tell you what it means. He was a country boy from the hills and hollows of West Virginia. He was trying to get elected. As Secretary of State, I continued to rely on his advice and counsel. Robert C. Byrd led by the power of his example, and he made all of us who had the honor of serving as his colleagues better public servants and better citizens. Robert C. Byrd left such a legacy. The U.S. military budget is now $695 billion. Uh, China is number two at $120 billion. We're about a six to one ratio over our closest competitor. Jesus, how much money do you need us to spend on nukes and defense spending before your friends that are defense contractors are happy enough? Well, first of all, uh, you remember that domestic spending has been growing promiscuously under Obama, right? He's added $5 trillion to the national deficit. If he had a second term, you can assume he'll add $5 trillion more. Let's In talk that about case, that. America. All right, and we're going to take it one issue at a time, okay? So when you mention the $5 right, well, trillion, dollars, you know that a great majority of that was left over from the Bush administration, left a $1.2 What do you mean by left hold, over? I'll tell you exactly. What do you exactly. mean left over? Uh, well, I'm going to explain it to you. $1.2 trillion per year when Obama came into office. That's because of the giant tax cuts that your friends got, the incredibly rich. That's because of the well, giant what? defense contracts that your friends got. That's because of the oil subsidies. That's because of the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan that you were in favor of, the entire Republican Party was in favor of. $1.2 trillion a year left by Bush. First of all, a president should take responsibility for the budgets that go under there. You know, you can't like say that Obama for five years is simply carrying on the Bush legacy. Obama has had a chance to leave his imprint both on, on foreign policy and on domestic policy. He's the one who has taken the Palestinian position on Israel. He's the one who's telling the Egyptian military... <laughs> Only if it were you so. Better, hold on. Uh, Cenk, uh, laughing is not an argument. He's the one who tells the Egyptian military, you better turn over power to the Muslim Brotherhood or we'll cut off U.S. aid. These no, are no, those are things actions. that are empirically not true. First of all, Ehud Barak, the Israeli... Empirically not true. Yes, the Ehud Barak, the Israeli defense minister, said President Obama has been more friendly to Israel than any president in his lifetime. Talking about here is the president abandoning Israel. I'm going to read promoted an agenda of championing and the Palestinian cause and achieving a nuclear accord with Iran. The abandonment of the no daylight and no surprises mm -hmm. principles climaxed over the Iranian nuclear program. The daylight between Israel and the U.S. could not have been more blinding. And four Israelis who repeatedly heard the president pledge that he had their backs and was... And they asked him specifically, you mean all the presidents? He said, all the presidents. So you tell me you know better than the defense minister of Israel on whether President Obama has been great to Israel or not? Second of all, on Egypt, he didn't say hand them power over to Muslim Brotherhood. He said, have a democracy, which is what I thought you guys were in favor of when you invaded Iraq, and now we have one and you find it inconvenient. Well, there was a big pro-democracy movement in Iran in 2009, uh, demonstrations just as big as Tahrir Square, except this was a pro-democracy movement that was pro-American and against the mullahs. What did Obama do? He said, let's stay out. Let's let the Iranians solve their own problems. So why does Obama intervene to overthrow an American ally, Mubarak? Are you suggesting, are you suggesting he, that President Obama is pro-mullah? Is that what you're suggesting? No, I'm suggesting that Obama wants to reduce America's footprint on the world because he thinks we are stepping on the world. Okay, now we're Islamic culture has given us majestic arches and soaring spires, timeless poetry and cherished music, elegant calligraphy, and places of peaceful comp contemplation. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my friends. Muslims are peaceful and tolerant people and have nothing whatsoever to do with terrorism. 
that Islam is a religion that preaches peace. It cannot be said often enough of the true religion of Islam, which is a religion of peace. <laughs> ونرمي عليهم بفضل الله سبحانه وتعالى. تحب دروس الاسلام؟ اكيد. ماذا تريد ان تبقى مجاهد ام عامل استشهاديه؟ مجاهد. ايسل از نوت اسلامي. انا اسمي داوود عمري 14 سنه احب ان اصير بدوله الاسلام في العراق والشام واقعد معهم لانهم يحبون ان يقاتلون الدوله المرتدين والكفراء. والله افشروا افشروا بد الدقمات والمفخخات، اليوم اعلنا الخلافه وبعدها واليوم نحن في شهر رمضان هو نصر من الله والرسول قال اكثر النصر في شهر رمضان، والله سنقسم امريكا على قسمين وسندمر اعداء الدين كلياتهم، كل من حارب الدوله الاسلاميه.